my own philosophy is uh, that somebody is not that you end your life with uh, big money. You must have a problem you will say you have solved before you die or achievement you have made. That your, your name will be mapped. So that even many years after you die, your name will not die. That is my own philosophy. I'm not afraid of death. What I want to do is that before I die, if I'm allowed to finish what I have in hand, so that my name will be there for some time. For hard work is more work. Everything you do on this planet Earth must have a vision and a mission. But work, work again. Any on the lips of the young ones, especially science, physics students, lay uh, a role model. Hey, hey, hey. Professor Pius Wanko Keke, a fellow of the Academy of Science, a famous Nigerian space scientist, a renowned professor of physics, a true son of Wobinato Ibenabo, in Oruku, in the Middle of Government Area of Anambra State. Piano Keke, breathing the star. So PNOKK is the first PhD product of the University of Nigeria and a famous physicist in Nigeria, mostly because of his easy-to-read physics textbooks and his groundbreaking efforts to instill space research in Nigeria. His influence is Professor Samuel Okoye, the foremost Nigerian radio astronomer who handed over to him the responsibility of directing the Nandia Zikiwe Space Research Center, which morphed into the Center for Basic Space Science, University of Nigeria, Nsoka. Okeke was born on Anonko Market Day, Thursday, 30th of October, 1941, to the humble family of Daniel Ndubisi Okeke and Beatrice Ogobwe Okeke of Umuobinato of the Brazy Valley village of Ibenabo in Oruku town. He was the first son of his parents, both parents, Mr. Daniel Ndubisi Okeke and Beatrice Okeke Ugowe. Though not very educated, we are extremely intelligent, industrious, and creative. For example, his father was a building designer and contractor in his time. Some of his creative designs have stood the test of time. The mother was a clothing designer. One of the parents' most outstanding characteristics was their creativity coupled with deep humility, kindness, and honesty. He was put into St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School at Ura Amada quite early and in there he tilted towards team play, excelling in football and table tennis. During this period in his life, he had a relaxed grip on his academics, possible in all subjects like every other average pupil, but to mathematics he concentrated his greed, fueled by his love for the subject. Consequently, his performance in it was distinct, repeatedly measured in the first position he made of it ahead of the resoluteness of his classmates. So what I can recall is that my friend, my parents loved me so much because I happened to be the uh, first son. They had a number of daughters, but I was the first son and I became a dying of the house. I did not abuse 
that petting. I respected my parents very well. I try not to offend them. I try to do things that they will like and praise me. Like I fish for firewood, go to water, and so many other things. And whenever they come back, they continue reading praises. This is the most important thing I can remember about my relationship with my parents. Very cordial. Pius led children at play. He provided initiative and others followed suit. This leadership stint is more obvious today. As a little boy, Pius had no patience to study at home. He preferred a quick glance at merits and demerits and theories and problems and the solutions just before any impending test or examination. He rather would be found in the school pitch or almost anywhere else playing football. Whenever there was an imminent match between St. Joseph's and another primary school and it so happened that Pius was ill or simply absent but St. Joseph's team may contemplate shifting the date. This was because he was captain. As a centre-forward player, his reflexes were sharp and once he got the ball, his opponent's goalpost was in danger, for he rarely ever missed the goal. At table tennis, Piles had a firm grip on his paddle. Such was the exuberance in his growing up. The enchanted village of Ibenabo provided a dreamy aura for his focus. Professor KK did not pay much attention to secondary school entrance examination. Pius ended up in a privately owned secondary school in inland Onisha or in Onisha, Onisha Upland in the early 1960s. This was the Washington Memorial Grammar School, WMGS. The school was not a co-ed at the time. It was an all-boys school. Today, it has become a mixed school. An indigene of Urua Amada in Oruku, Chief Patrick Okoye pioneered the stimulation of mostly acceptable higher education in the school. He was its proprietor at the time and God made future father-in-law of Pius Okeke. The school at that time in the early 1960s was not approved to offer physics and chemistry in school certificate examinations. In other words, Professor Okeke, who is today one of the most distinguished physicists in Nigeria, had no opportunity of studying physics in secondary school. How did this happen? This is part of the story. Where there is a will, there is always a way. In secondary school, Professor Okeke discovered that he was only interested in science subjects with physics and chemistry out of the way. He found that the only science subjects left for him were mathematics, additional mathematics, biology and geography. These did not form a complete right type of combination for any university course in science as well as applied sciences. He was forced to add subjects like Latin, Igbo and religious knowledge. Professor Okeke found himself in a very serious dilemma, but one conviction he has always had was that he must study chemistry and physics on his own, especially with the aid of Federal School of Science, Lagos. He learned that his senior in Washington Memorial Grammar School, Mr. Obuna, was already doing so. This was a very consoling factor. The Washington Memorial Grammar School which I attended had no approval to offer physics as well. And so I was highly disappointed because what I liked is something mathematical, like additional maths, physics. Unfortunately, these things were lacking. So I ended up without doing any of my ambition. So I was very, very fortunate when I got to Lagos to find a school called Federal Emergency Science School. This is where I spent one year doing my O level physics and entered for GCE and got successful. This is how I got out of things. Therefore, at the end of his career in WMGS, he contacted his uncle, Magistrate E.U. Abo, in Lagos on the possibility of staying with him, with a view of securing admission into Federal School of Science Magistrate Abo was a very kind man and he invited him to Lagos. Go and stay with him in Lagos. I'll go my brother. Let's like that. Let's take I'm going up to Lagos. Ah. Yeah, I'll see you. You can me some money for my transport fee. Yeah, I'll see My wife, please come and see. My brother, I'll go again. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah
Buy us our son. Buy us our son. He is becoming a man. He will be alright. He will be alright. This is like a he is becoming a man. Eh? You see, he's becoming a man. He's no longer a boy. He will be okay. He can be I will buy a pass for you. Yeah. I will even buy you a car when I go this month and forget your father. No, that I will buy you snap now. That's me. Take care of yourself for me, for your mother. That is because he has let me go and pack my things. You see, this is answer to prayer. Eh? Oh, God. I thank you. who was not aware of Professor Okeke's plans and predicaments other than he is a job applicant, took him to his friend, the general manager of ECN. The manager was glad not only to employ him but also to include his name in the list of those to be sent abroad for higher degree in electrical engineering. Unfortunately, Professor Keke was disqualified because he did not offer physics and chemistry